Hello and welcome to the history of Mad Max. Omega Ordained coming at you with the cow car. And here we go. The cow car, also known as the Moo car in the original script, is a heavily modified vehicle driven by Max in the final chase scene of Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. Very little is known about the technical specifications of this vehicle. The only recognizable elements of this car are the rear bumper and wheels. The rear bumper appears to be from a 1965 Pontiac Grand Prix. The bumper is cut in the middle and narrowed to fit the vehicle. The rest of the vehicle appears to be entirely custom made. The vehicle is covered in cowhide and has a streamlined look. It is a center single seater with what appears to be a V8 with all eight exhaust pipes protruding sideways through the center of the bonnet. The rear of the vehicle holds a variety of piping, presumably for its methane system. The vehicle makes its first appearance in the background of a couple of shots in Bartertown. It is most extensively used on screen, however, in the final chase scene. Max falls into the car with an Imperial Guard and fights him off of it. After that, Max knocks out and pulls out the driver and takes over the car. He then uses the car to ram the harpoon vehicle with Iron Bar Bessie and pushes him straight into the oncoming train truck. Shortly after, the cow car is pushed off the road by the Bigfoot. After that, Max catches up with the chase and pulls up to the train truck. He then runs on top of the car and into the train truck. The vehicle was scheduled to perform a minor stunt involving jumping over the train tracks. In the original script, this would occur shortly before coming up and ramming the harpoon car. In order to do that, Max would have to cross the tracks by jumping over them and landing behind the harpoon vehicle. The stunt was filmed, but unfortunately the stuntman overestimated the speed necessary for the car to jump over the railroad tracks. In effect, the car launched way too far into the air and destroyed the car on impact. Fortunately, this stunt was performed after all the crucial cow car scenes had already been filmed, so the vehicle did not have to appear on screen again. The stunt was cut from the movie, but it can be seen in the making of Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome TV featurette. After the filming of Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, the vehicle was repaired and was displayed at the Melbourne Motor Show in 1985, along with a few of the other vehicles from the movie. After that, it was kept in storage for nine more years until it was destroyed at Sims Metal St. Mary's facility in Western Sydney, along with all remaining vehicles from that movie. Thank you for watching the history of Mad Max. Special thanks to the Mad Max Wiki and all contributors for all information you heard today. Thank you and have a great day. Bye bye.